And there are still some Yolanda survivors who have thought they've made strides recovering from the harrowing experience after investing into what should have been new homes. But some of them fear that they might not get that dream home at all. Jenny Dongon is back with this report. It's been five years since Super Typhoon Yolanda ravaged Tatakloban City. But Liz Sillar still remembers her family's ordeal as if it only happened yesterday. She recalls they had to squeeze inside the toilet of a gasoline station to avoid getting swept by the deluge. Nakita namin yung, yung harap namin building, nakita namin paano siya binitak. Nag, nahati siya talaga, tapos babagsak. O sino ba naman di matatakot nun? Sabi nga nila, Mama, di, hindi na daw kami makauwi sa probinsya. Kasi feeling nila talaga yun na yun. She lost everything. But what's worst is, according to her, she was duped by a fellow Yolanda survivor. She bought a house valued at 50,000 pesos. The monthly mortgage was 475 pesos. But up to this day, the title hasn't been transferred to her name. Replacement kami. Tapos yung nakalagay sa statement of account, hanggang ngayon hindi pa pangalan namin. Yan yung problema ako kasi hanggang ngayon, utang namin kasi yung pera na binayad namin hanggang ngayon. Tapos mahulog lang sa wala. Florida Colmina's fate runs a similar storyline. 90 plus na yung nabayad namin. Ngayon, nag-ano kami sa mobilizer, bakit hanggang ngayon, hanggang ano, ilang taon na po kami nakatira since 2014, hanggang ngayon wala kaming ilaw. Yun nga nang napag-alaman na may problema po yung mobilizer namin. She thought she was buying from the government, but the city housing and community office denied that the development belongs to them. Ang Bergham is Indians amin. Ano yan, sa Social Housing Finance Corporation? That's a private mobilizer. I think they have a lot of problems there. The developer has already been charged. The problem is only half of the 200,000 houses intended for Yolanda victims in the entire Visayas had been built. The government says the process is hampered by delays in securing lands with legitimate titles. There are certain constraints like uh, you have to look for titled lands to build houses for them. You have to look at the place where the people may need certain services that are not there. So it takes a little time. But certainly the government is doing its best. Survivors are still picking up the pieces five years after the tragedy struck. But it looks like they have to suffer a bit longer as the palace expects rehabilitation to go in the next two years. For News 5, Jenny Dawn, We Are One News.